Hello, Doug Brettauer here, FreedomBiomass.com. Uh, Going to run through a simple start, simple way to start up the Key Stove LX. The way I do it, and I do a lot of it. Uh, some kind of funnel, uh, hardwood pellets, about a pound. Poke them around, kind of flatten them out. It's not even quite half full, by the way. Then something that makes it real easy to start so you can get your draft effect started. A buddy of mine, Ray Kish, he's into briquetting, uh, makes some real nice briquettes out of straw, leaves, paper. Use a little paper on this one. An accelerant, lamp oil. I've already put some on there, but I'm just going to, just for thoroughness sake, uh, sprinkle a little more on there. Okay. Put some of this uh, lamp oil soaked paper briquette on top of your pile. What this is for is to start the reaction. It's just an easy way to start it. There's harder ways to do it. There's probably easier ways to do it, but uh, that gives you an easy way to start to start a flame on top of your pile, which will start a draft moving up through the pile and give you a good clean burn. Real quick shot of a torch. You don't hold the torch on it. If you have a match, throw the match in there and let it go. The less messing around you do on startup, the typically the better it starts up. Uh, I don't know if you can see the flame coming up out of there right now, but there's a there's a flame down in there. The accelerant's caught on top. There's a it's burning right now, and we'll just let it burn in about five to ten minutes the flame will move from the top of the pile up into the jets at the base of the chimney and that's when you can start cooking or doing whatever you need to on it. Yes, I'm doing this inside. Yes, I have a CO monitor right here for uh, to monitor what's going on with my carbon monoxide levels. Thank you very much. That's a startup. Wait five to ten minutes. You'll get your separation. You can start using it or just enjoy the heat. Thank you.